Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. This is not an easy question to answer. When should I change the water in my aquarium? Because every aquarium is different. Now you need to have a basic understanding of the nitrogen cycle, which this video is not going to be about. This video is gonna be about when should you change the water in your fish tank? So when I'm cycling a tank, I'm because I have 12 tanks now, lately I've been getting 20 gallon tanks to help with my breeding and getting new smaller species of fish. So what I do is I take my brand new filter that I just got and I place that filter onto one of my older tanks that's already established. I let it run for a few weeks and then I take that filter, I put it on my new tank at that same time, I take plants from an established tank I take some driftwood from an established tank and there's my beneficial bacteria that I've moved into that tank and some would say that's an instant cycle. But I'm only gonna put a few fish in now, two or three maybe, hardy fish. I'm gonna slowly add fish to that tank. I'm not just gonna dump a ton of fish into that tank right, right away. The two most common ways to test your water are the API strips, which I don't actually like, and the API Master Test Kit, which is a great investment. And now let's go through this kit and we'll show you what you need to test for. There are two reasons that I prefer the testing kit over the strips. The first reason is they're far more accurate than the strips. The second reason, the strips don't even test for ammonia. Now the beneficial bacteria that we've added to our tank will turn the ammonia into nitrite. From there, it will turn that nitrite into nitrate. We need to make sure that our levels of ammonia and nitrite are always at zero, otherwise it's going to be danger, which means death. Start doing water changes and get them down to zero. Some signs of ammonia poisoning are burning up the gills gasping at the gills for oxygen, and the fids might be shredded a little. Generally, fish can tolerate between 5 and 20 ppms of nitrate. Zero nitrates in a plant and tank is not good as well because the plants will die. Think of the nitrates as fertilizer for your plants. Do your research on fish before you buy them, as some can tolerate high nitrates and some cannot. For instance, this five and a half gallon tank, which is home to a bunch of albino quarries, baby albino quarries, I need to do water changes on this tank every three to four days because I can't have the nitrates raising past five, otherwise I'm gonna have casualties. This heavily planted 10 gallon tank here, which has some guppies in here. Now this one can last a month. I don't go a month because I'm already doing the water changes in this room anyway, so it's getting it every two weeks. But the nitrates after a month on this will only get to 20. There's not that many fish in here and there's a lot of plants. The 90 gallon here. Now this one here, I do 50% water change every two weeks. In two weeks, it gets to 20 nitrates. I drain half the water, I'm down to 10. I fill it back up, I'm down to 10. It takes two weeks to get those 10 nitrates back and then I start again. My queen arabesque plecos that are in here are a little more sensitive to nitrates as well. These guys require 50% every week. And there's some uh, dwarf neons in there. They don't need that, but they get it as well because they're the dither fish for this tank. As we're filming this video, we're only a couple subscribers away from 3,000. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that like for this video. Join me next week for another edition Friday Fish Facts.